Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to focus on finishing off the powder room and installing wallpaper, hanging the new light um, fixture, which is a wall sconce, and the new mirror, hopefully picking a paint color and painting the board and batten. I'm hoping that we can get all of that done this week, so I hope you're looking forward to it. So the first challenge I've come across is that, to me, this looks like it's upside down, right? Like the direction that I'm holding the camera and showing you, this looks upside down. I feel like it should be like this, but the internet and the wallpaper maker says it goes the other way. So I disagree, but anyways, hopefully when I put it up, it will look less upside down but i guess the flowers are hanging yeah i guess that makes sense look at this the way it's drooping downwards i'll show you the progress i made i was on the phone with a friend um but i wanted to get a little bit under my belt before i called you or not called you before i talked to you guys um let me just put this on wide angle sorry this is a small bathroom i'm just hitting everything so that's how it's looking right now. Really excited. Uh, still not 100% sure on the color of this. I'm still very tempted to do it a greeny color. I'm wondering if these colors might be a little too green, but maybe more of like a taupey green. I think I got some sample um, chips the other day that might match. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to put this on a time lapse. I've got to split you between vlog and reels. So I've got to do half one direction and half another, but it's looking really, really good. Also, it's gonna be really challenging when I get to this wall because of this um, little bump out bit, but also when we get over here to the light, then I can switch that out. Um, so that'll be good as well to at least get that done. And you know what would be really cool? I think I'm gonna wrap this with wallpaper if I have enough left over and I really feel like I will because I haven't even opened the second roll yet and I've done almost I guess half the room we'll see it doesn't feel like we'll run out but what is very amazing is that it is perfect like it is matching up perfect I hardly like this was the excess that I haven't trimmed but like that is how much extra I have. So I have to cut it perfectly, otherwise I will have to waste a whole strip. So I just came to this corner and I don't know what to do. Um, because the wallpaper is going to like wrap around the bulkhead, but obviously here there's no bulkhead and it's just straight. So not really sure what to do. Um, the only thing that I can think of um, is to do a straight piece and then cut it here so it doesn't wrap around and then the piece goes here and here and not here and having to patch it and then hope that I'll be able to line it up properly in the next bit, which I probably won't. I don't know. I don't know what to do. figured it out um, and now I'm just gonna take a bit of a dinner break and then I'll come back and finish off what is remaining which isn't very much
Are you ready to see how it's looking? So I put up the light. The mirror is just resting on here for now. And then here's all the beautiful wallpaper. I still think I'm gonna paint the board and batten a slightly different color. It actually isn't too far off from this color. But um, yeah, I still think I wanna do something else. So I need to make that decision tomorrow. I do worry that if I did it the green color that it might be too dark. So needs to be a happy medium. So we'll think about that tomorrow. It is 10.40 on Wednesday night. And I work tomorrow, so I have cleaned up enough to get the look and see how it's going. But I, um, I definitely need to go get ready for bed now. Right now I'm working on wrapping the light switch plate because the wallpaper goes around it. So I try to line up the paper perfectly and then I put wallpaper paste on it and stuck it to the front of the light switch, but the corners wouldn't stick obviously. So the next day now, I'm just using some hot melt glue to stick it so you can see I've done the edges. And then I also cut these out and I'm gonna wrap these around so it'll look good. I don't know how I'm gonna put it on the switch because obviously you need screws. So we'll come to that after. I'll show you what I was working on. So I'm trying to find some art or frames or something to put in the powder room i think that this frame will be good in the powder room but not this piece of art so as a temporary placeholder i'm wondering if i can put this i'm worried it might not be big enough now i'm talking to you guys but oh it might just fit okay so that might be like a temporary placeholder and then i'll get something else printed but just for the meantime um but i'm also thinking of putting some other little frames in there. Um, so I'm also working on that. I thought this was kind of a cute frame combo for somewhere in the house, maybe there. Um, got these the other week and I haven't used them. I don't think I want them silver. I think they've got to be gold. And I also really liked this little cream frame when I got it, but I just haven't found anything that I like in it, so I think it also might need to be gold. So, I may need to rub and buff those, but... And also I need to put something in here. And whenever I print art at Staples, I mean, which is not the greatest way to do it, but it's budget-friendly, I print lots of things. So I've got options. Um, I have a bigger version of that which I think would actually look pretty cute in the powder room because it's kind of like an English cottage theme. Um, I was also thinking about potentially hanging baskets and things on the walls, so we'll see about that. So I was just down here touching up a few spots that I noticed weren't perfect um, the next day. So I find touching up wallpaper pretty easy, like finding the pattern a little difficult, but then when you do it, you can hardly tell. So if you're doing wallpaper, know that if there's a little mistake, you can easily hide it. Um, so I'm gonna put that up as like a temporary holder um, and eventually switch it to art. But I'm also thinking I might, since I have more of this paint, just do it. Just paint the last coat. Uh, one problem that Chris agrees about is that it's not bright enough in here. So I'm gonna switch out these bulbs, which I think will help. You can see like it's just not bright, but this one doesn't help because, not that you can see it while on camera, but it is like, I don't know, a can light or something. And I don't think the electrical is gonna be the same for that, I don't know. I guess I could just pull it down. Let's try that. What? What's going on? Yeah, like look at that. I don't know how to do that. So, I think it's gotta go back. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's not good. 
maybe my dad can help me switch that because I've never changed those before so I don't feel super comfortable messing around with it uh, but I do agree a different light would be a bit better so maybe that is a goal for the future uh oh not good the other thought I had so so you know what I'm talking about here is this oops sorry um so I'm gonna put this picture here I'm thinking to do two little prints right here just because you'd see it when you're coming down the stairs it just seems nice but I want to bring in some like natural textures and you can't really add like a little random stool or a table it just would be a bit weird so I'm wondering about adding like some hats just with 3m hooks I'm not going to damage the wall even for hanging up these I'm just going to use 3m strips but I'm thinking maybe on this wall it'd be cute to have like three hats or three in a row or something cute like that. I don't know. Maybe that'd be weird, but I'm trying to get the English countryside vibes. Um, and then I'm thinking out here, like look at the mess. This is what happens when I do work. Um, I'm thinking here that I might put like a little shelf. Um to put extra coats on if we ever have visitors. It's just because we don't have much of an entryway, so that's what I was maybe thinking. Also, that's looking pretty good. I don't know. Um, obviously, I didn't line it up perfect. Not too bad, but anyways. Uh, I think I might use like a 3M strip or something to hold it up. Probably not to code, but I don't know how to make it stay on without using the screws. So it's story time. I'm in the unfinished part of the basement where all of our stuff is stored and through this wall is where the, the um, bathroom is. And these pipes here are for the sink. And I was just, you know, happened to be back here getting something to hang the mirror up thinking, oh, I should take a look and see if there's a stud. Well, I'm pretty sure it's pretty hard to see, but if I want to center the mirror with the faucet, it's going to go right into this pipe. And this pipe is literally touching the drywall. So I have to think of another plan. Reference, this is how the mirror hangs, supposedly. So you put something in there. And then, hello, sir. I mean, right here is where you'd want it. And this is gonna be a pipe right there. So yeah, that's that's fun, I don't know. Also, I didn't know this until after the fact, but this is not centered on this. And well, nothing we can do about it. I'm sorry about the fan noise, but it stinks of paint in here. So that's that. Um, what my current plan is, I've been walking around laughing at how this is a nightmare. I've checked on the other side and where the pipe lines up is literally dead in line with the center. So now I'm thinking the pipe is definitely not that wide. So if I do a nail, not a nail, but like a screw and a screw here, that that will probably work. Um, so I'll probably use some painter's tape to like measure and then stick up on the wall so we know what we're doing. Seems like it might be a good plan. Why did we pick this mirror? Why couldn't we make life easier? This is incredibly helpful. I have an audience. Okay, so I put some painter's tape up on the wall and made two little marks and I'm gonna use um, a nail to put into those two spots just to make sure that number one, the height is where I want it, but then number two, I can run around to the other side and see if the nail came through the drywall or if it's going into the pipe. Thank goodness I checked the other side because I guess it does veer a little bit more this way. So this one was just catching the edge of it and luckily I didn't tap too hard and this one had a lot of space. So I actually do think I can center it. So I just went and got out my laser level. So I'm gonna hook this up to the tripod so that I can get a perfect line with the center of the faucet and then we can hang the mirror. Quite the situation. Sorry for the shenanigans, but 
hopefully it should be smooth sailing now. And maybe that's why the light is over this way and kind of be more this way. That doesn't make sense though. Anyways, I digress. Are you ready for the reveal? There you can get the whole effect a little bit better when I zoom it out like that. The quality is just not as good. I'm super, super happy with it. This is the rug that I'm hoping to keep in here, but I stole it from the front hall for now until I replace that one. Um, so it's going to have to go back up until then. I really love these little prints that I've got centered on the door. While I do really like this piece here, I need to find something different because it is the same as the one in the kitchen, but I'll just get something printed the same size as the frame. I'm not 100% on the mirror, but that's easy to change. I really like this sconce that I got from Home Depot for $99. Looks so good, and I do kind of like that hat that I hung on the wall there. I don't know if you guys think it's random, but it brings in a little bit of like natural texture, which I like, and it's just on with the 3M hook. So I've pretty much decided that I want to get a new mirror for here. I think the width is good, but I want it to end before this faucet. Um, but other than that, I'm really happy with everything else. Like I said, the rug will eventually come back down here once I have a better solution for the entry. So for now, it won't have anything, but I really love the hat and how it reflects in the mirror and just everything. And I never showed you that I painted the back of the door the same color as the trim. So I feel like from that perspective, that looks pretty amazing as well. But... And I did end up leaving this natural cream. I just gave it another coat of paint and I felt like with the wallpaper, it matched a lot better than when there was no wallpaper. It was just white. I feel like it looked very dark before, but now with the wallpaper, it seems much lighter for whatever reason. But other than that, I am going to wrap up the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments and also what you think of the mirror situation. Hopefully you guys agree with me that, um, I think that I need something a little more old looking, but also I think it needs to end a little bit higher. Uh, so let me know your thoughts on that and I'll start looking for something unless you guys have a suggestion.